Hazelwood to start us off on day two. Oh, I thought that was an edge straight away. Short ball from Hazelwood. Nice. In the air. Bowler's end. Cummins. Oh, jeez. Get that down onto the stumps. That's a run out. Ah. Stop trying to work it to the onside. It's like the UK. Out. 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 Well done, Mitchell. No. No. Get out. Don't review this. This will be out. I can imagine. And Goo remains out. Was there any... Was it pad first? Yep. Catch it. Yep. As we see the Irish lead up to 50. This goes over mid-off. Only four. Yeah, that's my, like, career mode is just no good. Because it just, it forces the situation onto your player. As we see another brown boundary over here from Adair. Who's really playing aggressive at the moment. Yep. Oh, that's four. <laughs> Archie, guys, um, I have no idea what you're talking about and I have no interest in what Dean's doing, like always. Talk about something I understand instead of this crank at 68 game. It was, uh, Roman 14. That should be out! Yeah! Finally, we get the last wicket. 69 is going to be the island lead. As Australia will begin their second innings. On day two. All right. Hits the pad, then goes back onto the glove. Tell you what, he's going to win leading wicket take of the tournament. Nathan Lyon. That last wicket partnership, again, worth 39 for Ireland. The last two wickets... Put on 67 runs. Australia, they'll be disappointed that they allowed those extra runs at the end of there. 48 not out. The top score so far for the match. As we see, hang on, I probably should go back to this while I'm out of the way. And uh, just so you can have a quick look-see there. There is the thumbnail, that is correct. Was Lyon with the, with the ball in the hair. But it's Ireland with a 69 run lead. Lyon with five, Hazelwood two, Stark two. And a run out there as well by Matthew Way. Ooh, Warner through mid wicket. Huge. Oh my god, that's a ripping ball. What the hell happened there? That ball accelerated off the pitch. It got quicker as it bounced. I'm in shock. How the hell did that happen? I mean, I definitely played the shot badly, but yeah. That is an edge. That has fallen short of first slip. The keeper really should have taken that. Should have taken that. Yep. One. End of the sixth. Australia, 15 for one. Because <laughs> they would have had to be isolated all the time there. Yes. Oh, that's a great shot from Joe Burns. She's playing some cracking cricket already today. All the way to the boundary. Yes. Ooh, there's a couple. Labuschagne off the mark. Ho 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 ho, Marnie! Didn't actually time it super well, it sounded good off the bat. It'll only be worth two. Oh no! I hit it late! That was a good partnership building too! Out for 18, 38 for two, Australia. Still don't have a lead yet. But it's the supreme duo in at the middle, Steve Smith, Marnus the Machine. Smith, jeez, he's had a horror run lately with me. At the helm. Australia's still 38. Uh, for two. Yep. So 31 behind. No, it's not a run there. I hit this ball. Yes. Yeah, one or two. We'll cop a couple to finish the over. Oh no, this is what it was going to be. It's going to be Twisty Cry. Yep. Oh, that was almost caught. Yep. You never know. Oh, that's a cracking shot from Smith. It's gone through mid-wicket. Sort of a wide mid-on area. That's the 50 up for Australia. And a boundary for Steve Smith. Yep. Run. Gee, the old block and run tactic. It is cheap. And I love it. Six monthery. It's like a mothery. Finally plays something well. Mate, calm down. 
there's still time for me to mess this up. I've only just got, got the lead back. I mean, I haven't even done that yet. Oh. <laughs> you were the chosen one. You had said you would bring balance to the force, not destroy it. Sorry, Australia have the lead. I don't know why I'm quoting Star Wars, but it was a great night last night on Twitch. This is the smart by me. I've pushed him so wide, he cannot possibly like, bowl on the stumps. Like, he has to keep bowling wider and wider each time. McBride. And if he does want to fire one in at the stumps, good luck to him. But look how wide he's now pitching the ball. I need to stop. Yes. And he'll get unlimited power. <laughs> I don't know, but it's apparently really good. Oh, that's out. Steve Smith hit it straight to mid-off. Many, many things went wrong for me then. And in the end, it was a wicket. And Australia didn't need to have... I pressed the wrong button. I hit it in the wrong zone. In the end, Smith out for 35. Australia 95 for 3. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That was almost a catch. And I think maybe by Travis Head running into that bloke who could have caught it. Jeez, lucky me. Manus survives. Too much screen time, Dean. You need a break. Well, it's probably not not far off the mark. Edged and dropped. Labashane survives. Wow. Well, um... Kyrgios got it. Dimitrov got it. And Nick Kyrgios on Twitter is absolutely giving everyone shit for it. And he goes... You can't say anything I did was stupid, because all these idiots have COVID. Because uh, Travis Head pulls this away. Now pick up probably four just by running. Can we pick up a fifth? No, we'll set up for four. Actually, no, go for five. Run five, Travi. Five runs there. Insanity. Travis Head finds a boundary once more for four. This has been a good partnership here. Oh no! I just spoke about this being a good partnership. If I can get this lead up to 100 here, I feel very confident I'm going to win this. That is no way that was on the full. Are you kidding? That had to bounce. How the hell did this carry? It was a full toss. Oh my god. I thought it bounced after I hit it. I mean, before I... Yeah, after I hit it. Yeah. That's a bad wicket to lose. Lavashane out for 43. Oh! Huge! Huge! <laughs> Here goes Matthew Wade. Into the stands over cover. Tell you who's got the power at the moment. Matthew Wade's got the power in his arms and in the bat to hit the boundaries. And it's whatever the last word is, generally will go into some other thing that you want to say. Timmy Payne. This has been a bad last few overs for me. 162 for six. Australia are six down. The lead is only 93 right now. Lots and lots of work needs to be done. Hazel Good. Is in with Matthew Wade. Australia will need probably at least another 100 runs between these last four wickets. Oh no. Oh no. I can't even understand the brain power I had then. This is going to be a three day test if it's not a two one. Now I desperately need Stark and Hazelwood to do something. Four for Joshy. This is the lower order at work. How to fix broken rib. <laughs> Masking tape. That's gone off the pad. And it's gone about 80 metres in the air. It's not even going to reach the boundary. And that'll be the second session of play done, I reckon. 173 for 7. Australia's lead, 104. Goes aerial. Hazel good. 
finds the boundary. Now they lead it by 111 runs. We've got one session left on day two in what could easily be the quickest test match of the TTC so far. You're too small for it now? It's too small for you now. When did you shrink? The twisty quotes. Oh yeah, I've got the quotes shirt. It's got quote 66 in the middle of it. Does Australia bring up the 200? Stark goes in the air through mid-wicket. And with a huge shot, finds the boundary. And the Irish fans appreciate his work. Hazel! Good! Oh, offside shot, everyone. And it's through the gap and it's four. 50 for Sark. 250 for Australia. This has been a huge knock. 45 minutes out there. And he's already made a fitty. Oh, it's a no ball. Oh my golly gosh. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. You wouldn't read about it. You would not read about it. Hazelwood survives. Clean bowled off a Nowy. Oh, catch that. Oh, he wasn't ready. He was not ready. He should have taken that. That should have been out. I don't know how the turntables. Mate, the... That was because it was like every stream people used to ask for. Anyway, Hazelwood picks up two more. It's going to be the 50. Everything's coming off the middle of the bat for these two at the moment. 265 for 7, Australia. 50 up for Hazelwood. Look, this is why I like never mod anyone. Because people complain who I do mod. Oh, catch that. That's out. Australia finally lose. Wicket number eight. This 100 plus partnership comes to a close. And the lead of Australia, of Australia is 199 right now. Cummins and Lyon still to come. If you get the good areas of the game correct, you don't need anything else. Oh my god, what a shot! All the way from the Cummins for six. Out of nowhere. Wait, yep. Oh, nicely done, Paddy. Lead up to 231. Australia's total up to 300. Yep. In the air. Chipped a little bit. This one. I'm surprised the crowd is so loud because... Mate, I said at the start of the night, I'm going to make 400. Shot four. All right, this is a huge moment in the game. Australia's lead just ticked over three at uh, 250. And Mitch Stark and Pat Cummins, I mean, they're just scoring runs at will at the moment. Ireland can't stop it. I guess a common question for those who are watching this video going, Dean, how is it that your tail is batting much better than your top order? Well, I mean, we all remember when Hazelwood made... Uh, a lot of runs uh, as Australia versus the World Eleven. I think he scored 100 in that match. Stuck, stuck very similar score. I just generally bat well with the tail. There's a lot less pressure to score runs with them than there is the top order. The field's a bit more spread. The ball's a bit uh, softer at this stage of the match, so it's not swinging as much. But yeah. All right, we need a solid four defence here. McBrien, remember McBrien's first innings where he was five for 20. Now off 20 overs, he's one for 105. Can Cummins bring up a 50 before the day's done? Can Stark bring up a 100 before the day's done? These are questions. We've only got, what, five overs to go? Or is this the last ball of the day? How, what's the time? 8.54. We've actually got two overs left, I reckon. There might be one more left after this. we got one more over after this. So this is not the last ball of the day. At least I don't think it is anyway. It'll be a single, which means Stark will 
No, it'll be two. So Cummins will be on strike for the last over. I need six to bring up a fitty. 3.45 for eight. No, it is the last ball of the day, so that's going to be it. That's going to be it. The day's going to be done. The stream is going to end. Can't believe we did two full days of play. Australia at Stumps on day two. What a test this has become. It's been quite an absurd one in terms of both the runs that have scored and the way they have been scored. Uh, but for, was Australia rallying after being 162 for seven, putting on a 106 run partnership between Hazelwood and Stark. And Stark has continued in that vein of form with Pat Cummins at the crease. And they are currently on a, what's that, a 77 unbeaten run at the crease right now. Australia 345 for eight. Mitchell Stark 85. Hazelwood was 52. Pat Cummins 44. Smith and Head in the 30s. Labashain 43. So everyone has contributed their part. As for how this test is looking right now, well, I mean, Australia 74 overs at the crease. Batted at a pretty ridiculous rate, let's be honest here. Uh, it, I think it's just under five. Uh, 345 for eight in this session. Australia with a lead of 276 at the end of day two after we only saw a measly 300 and... What's that? 309 runs combined in the first two innings. Australia have overtaken that in just 74 overs. Look at, look at the difference between Ireland's first innings, 68 overs, Australia's 74. Pretty crazy. Anyway, that will do us for day two. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on day three. And here are the... Uh, let's, let's give you the bowling stats, actually, as well. Here are the bowling stats as well. I don't know if you want to have a look at those, but uh, feel free to look at those if you'd like.